Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sanda. Welcome to my channel. Today I really want to talk about the pH of the mouth and the body and why is that important. So pH is important because we want to stay at a neutral balance. We don't want to become too acidic or too alkaline for that matter. If you're too acidic then disease sets in. So uh, how do we test the pH? You usually can take some litmus paper and you could test the saliva or the urine first thing in the morning. And why don't we test the blood, you might ask. It's really because the pH of the blood actually is a constant 7.34 pH, because the body is trying to keep you alive. How do we alkalinize our diet, since most of us are actually acidic, and what you'll find, a lot of you may be in the range of 6.0 pH, so you should try to bump that pH uh, over seven. So if we look here, I have the pH food chart. It's a way for you to alkalinize your diet. What you eat matters. It'll make you healthier or sicker. 90% of chronic diseases today are a result of our food intake. So uh, what you wanna do if you're acidic, let's say, your pH is around 6.0, you wanna use a pH food chart in the alkaline range. So if you look here at pH of 10, you have a lot of the raw vegetables like spinach, celery, cucumbers, dandelions, all those things that can alkalinize your diet. Uh, also, if you look at a pH of 8, coconut water is actually alkaline. So if you want to alkalinize or a quick boost, have some coconut water. Uh, in the neutral range, you see here most tap water, some olive oils, or a raw goat milk, and things like that. Cow's milk is actually more towards the acidic side. And if you look at the acidic things, it's most of our Western diet, the standard American diet, or the sad diet, which are what? Uh, turkey, beef, chicken white flour, um, you could see even some of the fruits like strawberries, cherries, blueberries, those are also tend to be slightly acidic. So uh, a big lesson from this food chart is to really try to have from both categories, both from alkaline and the acidic in order to keep your body healthy. Um, for example, if you eat too much of the acidic pH, you're gonna get cavities, especially in the carbohydrate range, right? like bananas and breads and crackers and cookies, those are acidic. When the pH in the mouth drops below 5.5, cavities set in. So try to, of course, brush and floss, but also balance your diet in the alkaline zone. If you have any questions, tweet me at Dr. Sanda. See you next time.